This video for Jazz and D will help you prepare for our plan exam, which is next week when you have class on Wednesday or Thursday. The plan exam is the last three lines of Jazz and D, so that's measure 13 to the end. Okay, bass players, we're going to be working on Jazz in D in preparation for our plan exam. And I just want to also review with you that I am looking for your first finger tape to be about the level of your eye when your end pin is out. Also, when you're balancing the bass, your bow should be able to support your instrument for you so that you can go note handed. And that makes it easier for your um, hands to shift from location to location because the bow is holding up the instrument. The first thing I want to do is just have you find your C sharp when you're up shifted. It's your second finger and I want you to play two long bow C sharps. Now if you don't think that sounds very clean or ringy, bring your bow closer to the bridge. The longer end pin height will also help your bow get closer to the bridge. So if this is at that height of your eye, your bow will be able to be closer to the bridge. Now move back to B, B, A, A, and we're going to play two of each. I'll demonstrate. Okay, so we're going to do two long C sharps and back to fast Bs and fast As. So set yourself up. up. Here we go together. Three, four. Let's do that again. Three, four. Now let's try doing it two times in a row without stopping. Three, four. Do it again. So your brain kind of has that memorized so you can watch your fingers. Let's do that one more time, two times in a row. Three, four. Now, bass players, I want you to look at the very last line of Jazz and D. And I hope that you recognize it's what we just practiced. C sharp, C sharp, B, B, A, A. C sharp, C sharp, B, B, A, A. When you look at the next measure, it does a lot of the eighth notes to three slow Ds. Let's try that entire line now that you heard me demonstrate the ending. Your eyes will be on your music. If you peek at your fingers a little bit, you'll be able to find your place again because you're looking at the bottom line of the music. One, two, three, and bottom line. Check where it is in relationship to the bridge. Maybe make your arm a little more straight, swinging like a pendulum clock. One, two, three, and four, and. Find the line that starts with number 13 and go all the way to the last measure. It's a bunch of those eighth notes again, and it's C sharp, C sharp, B, B, A, A, B, B. Let's practice that. I will demonstrate it first. Okay, so you can be looking at your music, set up your C sharp. You may need to peek when you shift back to B, but then you can try to find your place in the music again. So we're kind of practicing that with our eyes. Last measure of the line that starts with 13. 
three and four and. <laughs> One more time, that last measure, three and four and. Now I want to do the last two measures. So we have to go from our slow notes to the shift and the fast notes. Okay, so I demonstrated it a little bit. So here we go. Last two measures of that line, three, four. Now we're going to be at the beginning of line 13 and we're going to play the whole thing. Set up your F natural. Remember we have four groups of the F, F, D, Ds. One, two, three, and four, and. Third group, fourth group, here's the long A. Long, two, three, four, shift, shift. Let's try that again. See if you can get a better sound. Check your stretches. Think of that bass leaning against the bow. Here we are at 13. One, two, three, and four, and. Two, third group, fourth group, long A. Now we're going to work at 17, and I want you to look at your first note. It's a high D. Check out how many of them you have in a row, and then where you have to move to for the next note. Okay, here we go, right at 17. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Practice that again. So we're going from fourth finger down to fourth finger here. So I kind of let the fingers stay on the string so they're in contact with the string and they just ride that escalator to that other location. Here we go on 17. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Let's do 17 again. So find the line that starts with 17. We're going to play that one. Thinking about your bow closer to the bridge and that bass leaning against the bow. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, basses, we are going to play from 13 to the end. I will give you lots of reminders. The trickiest part is getting from the end of the line to the beginning of the next line because a lot of times as bass players, we also have to shift. Okay, set up at 13. Here we go. One, two, three, and four, and. Here's the third set. Fourth set, long A. Shifting to C sharp. Now shift to high D, smooth bows. F sharp, smooth bow. F natural, two, three. F sharp, bow lift, shift to C sharp. Long bow.
Let's do it again from 13 to the end. I'm gonna give you less reminders. One, two, three, and four, and. <laughs> Keep working to make improvements every time you play. Don't be surprised if you find that you are starting to memorize parts of this song. And that will even give you opportunities to be checking your fingers out as you play.